Welcome to the Photo Booth Supply Co. YouTube page. My name is Catalina and I'm the owner of Modern Photo Booth Company and I'm here to teach you all things about photo booth business. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to train your photo booth attendants. If you're just starting out your hiring journey, make sure to head to the link above so that you can watch the first video about how to hire attendants. If you've already hired a couple of people and are now wondering how and what is the best way to train them, then stay tuned because I'm going to go over exactly how we train our staff here at Modern Photo Booth and we have a lot of staff. The other thing I do want to mention is that training should be paid. They're hired at this point, they're an employee, and you should be paying them for their training, although we do start them off at a lower rate for training. I just want to segue into that because a lot of people think that training should be free and that is not correct. Our training process takes four days. So by day four, they should actually be able to do an event totally by themselves from start to finish. So I'm going to go over each day in detail. Day one. Day one is where we bring our staff into our office and we have them set up the photo booths. Now, if you operate out of your house and you're not comfortable having somebody come into your house, you can always set up in your garage or set up outdoors, or you can always take it to another location if you feel more comfortable having them go somewhere else. When we bring people in though, we will show them the photo booth and then we provide them with the vendors videos that are provided for assembly. And we ask them to figure out how to assemble the booth themselves. This is because we wanna make sure that they're a right fit. Again, and if they get it wrong too many times, then it's probably not a good idea that they are a booth attendant for your company. Now, it's okay if they stumble the first or second time. We have them do it at least three or four times until they get the hang of it. Now, that's not to say that they can't ask us questions, but we do want them to actually go through the video so that they actually understand and learn how to assemble it on their own pace. A lot of people do not learn well unless they actually apply what they are seeing in real time. Once we've completed the setup, we'll actually go through the flow of an event. We'll also go over a couple of key details like what they should be wearing at events, and then we'll also schedule their next training day. We'll tell them you need to show up at this time and where to show up because this next training day is going to be at an event. Training day two. So we have an event and we're gonna bring this person with us. We are obviously going to do the whole thing, but we wanna make sure that this person that we're training understands the flow from start to finish. So we have them meet us at our warehouse, or again, if you're working out of your house, have them meet at your house. They will load the photo booth into their own car and then we'll meet them at the venue. Make sure that you tell them where they should be going because a lot of times people don't know venues, parking lots, all that kind of stuff. So if you have inside knowledge that you should be sharing with them, make sure to tell them that. We have a lot of complicated venues over here that require special loading and unloading. Once you're at the event, have them unload the vehicle, show them exactly where they should be going and point out everything that you're doing. If when you arrive, you contact the venue coordinator or your contact to let them know that you're there, make sure that you express that to them and say, this is your next step. As you build the photo booth and as you are figuring things out, like, oh, I'm gonna put the photo booth this way because of X, Y, and Z, make sure you vocalize that because we have a lot of great information in our head that a lot of people don't know about. And if we keep it to ourselves, it's never gonna help them get to the point where you want them to be. Once everything is fully set up, make sure that you show them how to test their event on site. Take a picture. What does the exposure look like? How does the print look if you're doing prints? All that kind of stuff. Also make sure that they know to check for cables and cords to make sure that they're taped down and what your backdrop should actually look like. I can't tell you how many times people have put a backdrop on backwards or not zipped it up or literally had gaps in curtains before. For. Then once the event starts, you should lead and tell them exactly what you're doing throughout the entire process. So if you are helping guests come in, posing them, all that kind of stuff, make sure that you're explaining to them what you're doing. Then have them switch and be the primary person that is dealing with the guests. You guys can switch back and forth throughout the night so that you can see how they operate and you can also provide them guidance in what they're doing. Once the event is done, let them tear down the booth and pack everything up and then put it into your car. You can take everything back to your house, but they should be able to completely disassemble the booth without your help, depending on how big your setup is, but generally they should be able to do it on their own. Training day three. You're gonna repeat pretty much everything you did on training day two. Have them come pick up the photo booth. You'll meet them at the venue, but this time let them run the show. Don't say anything unless they ask you a question and just tell them this. Be like, I want you to take this event and do everything that you can. If you get really stuck, feel free to ask me a question, but please try to work through it yourself first. This is gonna give them the confidence that they are able to do this event, but because they know you're there, they're probably not gonna be as nervous. So you stick around and kind of 
just watch, don't intervene. I know it's gonna be really hard to not do that, but let them do their job until they ask you a question. If at the end of that event, you feel like they're not quite ready to be out on their own, then just repeat day three one more time. If after two times of having them do that, they're not ready to go out on their own, they might not be the right fit. But that's totally up to you, follow your gut, you'll know how much training that person needs. We generally haven't had anyone go past the two full day trainings, so we've always been able to really figure out who will work and who won't work kind of at the beginning of the process. Last but not least, they're ready to go out on their own by day four, so you can actually have them pick up the photo booth, do the event completely on their own, or if it's a bigger event, maybe you might have two people doing it. And then what you wanna make sure is that you are available for phone calls or anything like that. We like to do a check-in process where they have to like text when they arrive, they send us a picture of their setup, they send us a picture of the output, just so that we can make sure that everything is checked off and that they know what they're doing. Have a list printed out for them, letting them know what they need to do as a check-in. This is the exact same method we've been using for over six years to train all of our booth attendants. So I'm confident that this will work for you as well. But again, I always wanna know, how do you train your attendants? Was any of this helpful for you? Is there anything else you would like to know about training? Please feel free to leave me any comments or questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can get notified as soon as we publish our next video, which should be next week.